Breaking news, my wonderful people. See what MC Olumo has just shared about Tinubu and um, he's gotten a knock for it as Nigerians are saying, Guy, are you okay? You know, and um, he just shared this about Tinubu and it's causing real serious, you know, causing real serious attention. It's giving real serious attention. You know, people are like, MC Olumo, is everything okay? If you know MC Olumo very well, he's a son of Tinubu. By son, I mean uh, uh, political son. Or a godson, you know, you say you have a goddaughter, yes, that's who MC Olumo is to Tino. But this is a man who single handedly fought the transport union, and with the backing of Tinobu, is as though he stood above and got you know, got what he wanted to. Now, MC Olumo has shared something about, about Tinobu ahead of 2023, and this is really causing serious reactions as nigerians are saying you know this is uh, we can't believe you did this mc Luma. we can't believe it please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details Knox for tinubu as mc Luma share videos of foreign ladies rocking this former chairman of the national union of road transport workers n-u-r-t-w lagos Lagos State Chapter Mosiu Akinsoye, popularly known as MC Olumo, has sparked reactions online. Late Nigeria reports that MC Olumo took to his Instagram page to share a video of two foreign ladies campaigning for the All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tinubu. In the video, the ladies as seen rocking Tinobu's campaign t-shirt and declaring support for him ahead of 2023 elections. MC Olumo noted that their candidate is selling fast across the world and people should not be deceived because Tinobu's 2023 presidency is assured and they are very well assured and ready to start the congratulatory dance. He wrote, you can see that our product is selling all over the world. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't let me sweet mouth you saying, saying is believing. Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu 2023 is assured. Ishiala, that's like by God's grace. This generated outrage online with many Nigerians stating that if the ladies experience the current situation in Nigeria, they would not support Tinobu by wearing t-shirts. They will stone him. Others said they are happy because uh, they are in America. They, bor they borrow them to do this. No mind them. They don't give them a few dollars. Another one wrote, when I come to Nigeria and I call votes, another person said, carry go. Oh, now lie and deceit. Another person said, if I, just, if, I, if I just know Nigerians are suffering so bad, we will be promoting Tinubu. Who, who are we? We are fools, nothing more. See them and they behave like say they're not waiting they happen. They don't know. No, and that person answer, they don't know. And the person right, God forgive them. God forgive them for trying to deceive the people. So these and many more are actually happening and going on. You know, MC Ulumo, you know, he shared this and he was expecting a good feedback saying that um, he does not need to sell his candidate. His candidate is naturally selling himself. But the truth of the matter is. Is the candidate actually selling himself? Because these are in America, they will not vote. They are wearing t-shirts, no doubt. What's happening? How does the Nigerians and the country, the Nigerians and the country, how do they feel? Do they feel the same way like these ladies? Have the ladies finished school and there is no job? Finish even with a first class, there is no job. They borrow money, go do masters, no job. Do masters, finish, do PhD, become even lecturer because no job. They, they don't want lecture, but they become lecturer because... At least they are sure that the intellectual, okay, let's go into lecturing. As today on strike, over six months now, no salary don't come to the house. When I get picking, we don't go eat a bar. Okay, so we okay, no, even get from say so they make Gary. So everybody they eat a bar for 24 hours a day, 24 hours a day. Newborn baby will not eat a bar. Can you really, can you picture it? You cannot buy sneakers, you cannot buy a jeans, you cannot buy a top. Things are so expensive. 
okay and there is no employment yes the dollar to naira you want to travel this is how they will scrutinize you as if you carry something you see people that are doing these things it's not because well, by the way disclaimer we're not supporting them or don't involve yourself in any form of crime if you are caught you'll be dealt with the full route of the law but they, some people are desperate they've gotten to that point they said let it just be if i die i die you don't understand it people are genuinely suffering like genuinely suffering sincerely like you don't understand it people are going through a lot because and some people have private jets it's not your fault if they've worked for it they got themselves good things of life nobody's holding them that you cannot buy what you want to enjoy yourself because not only one life you get yes but not that you're in a government in a government position you have opportunity to make a change and guess what you do nothing about it then you make yourself a lord the people should serve you why you why you throw away that which belongs to the country and begin to give out gifts. You know, go look internally first. You are giving out gifts to other members of, to other countries. Yet your own country. Students at home. Do you know things that have happened during this hassle strike? You go fear. Oh. Honestly, sincerely speaking, you're not going to be happy. If you hear some kind of thing don't happen. Needlessly. If they were in school, that wouldn't have happened. A lot has gone on. A lot of waters have gone under the bridge. So let's not fold our arms and pretend that all is going well. No way. No, no, don't do that. Don't deceive everybody. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you do that, you're deceiving yourself. And trust me, it's just yourself. You're, yes, because everybody knows exactly the truth, what's going on. So the days are upon us where we need to rise up to the truth and reject oppression being instigated at us by those who gave opportunity to become leaders. Yes? Time out. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Remember, you have a voice. Let's continue to condemn every wrong thing going on in the country. Let's continue to speak against it. Yes, and one of those ways, you know, we'll keep you informed and up to speed. You know, give us a thumbs up, like us, share. You know, this is, this is what we need to do because we're at that junction where we could possibly make the difference and ensure, okay, that we that we have a difference altogether, okay. So this is what this is it. This is it. Elections are around the corner. What decision are you making? Please don't stay at home and don't vote. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please vote yes and protect your vote. Yes, all things being equal, things will go well. God helping us. Have a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye.